Is there a standard success criteria that gets the industry's attention or gets your attention? So looking at the million stream number where you can see it on Spotify, everyone has access to that. That kind of gets the the standard industry um, attention where everybody is going to say, we want you to be signed to our label and we're willing to give you X amount of money up front without even meeting the artist. Our strategy now is meeting the artist. They don't have to have the best numbers, but they've got to have um, some momentum with numbers. Like, you know, you could have 10,000 streams, 5,000 streams. You could you'd be a guy that's making your own videos and you've got a couple of thousand views on YouTube but we get to meet you. We get to see what you're all about, what your vision is, and how we can help you develop as an artist and how we can move forward uh, with your music to a bigger audience. How about Instagram followers? Would you say, not necessarily yourself, but just that would, would excite the industry? Again, is it a couple hundred thousand? I think with the industry, it's definitely, they, they need to see over a hundred thousand, you know, followers on a, on an Instagram page. How many TikTok followers? Same thing? Same thing, yeah. You know, it has to, they're looking at the numbers. We're, we're looking to find that artist who could get those numbers. Um, that's how we survive as an independent. I mean, we have a lot of artists that have already established and we continue those relationships with those artists. But when it comes to new artists, we're looking to work with that artist from the ground up and give them a shot and give them a chance. I think in your idea, you probably have in the back of your mind, a typical ROI return on investment where you're saying, you know what, if I, if I, if I can bring in a 50% return, if I can bring in a 30%, if I can bring in a 20, what, what typically is I mean, there a number? As, essentially, as long as we can bring in a return, look, the, the way I look at it, Bobby, if we sat, signed 10 acts a year, and three of them bring in a return of 50%. And we also are still developing the acts that haven't really brought in a return for the next few years that want to stick with us. And we walk through, we, we work through all the minefields and all the, hopefully we get to the glory eventually. I mean, we're looking, I think with an artist, you got to spend at least three years with them to get to know them and help them grow. Just out of curiosity, what would a typical marketing budget be for like a new artist? Like, is there a number where you'd say, yeah, we can throw 10 into this or 20 into this? Or... Yeah, usually like the PR where, you know, some PR companies are charging like, you know, 1500 a month. You know, we want to at least do a three month campaign. Mm -hmm. We want to, you know, uh, do a digital marketing campaign, you know, another grant for that. So, you know, essentially just small numbers starting around between you know, 6,000 to 10,000, you know, like on an EP or a short album. If one of the independent or DIY artists watching this said, you know what, M my dad would write me a check for 10. Uh, why don't I just hire out your record company and you can put me through your typical system. Get me with your PR people, get, get me the digital marketers that you would. Um, you guys have the experience, you know, w or do you do that kind of thing? Or do you know of other I, companies? I would that refer would? them to other companies that do that. I usually don't like to take I'm usually writing the checks, not receiving the checks. Good deal. And then the last question is, is, is do you think that, what, what do you think some of the best sources for, for marketing research, for, you know, getting these types of metrics that we talked about today? Yeah, or... We have some good A&R people here. Um, mm -hmm. My son's one of them. He's in his early twenties. He goes out to the shows. He meets these people. He brings them into my office. If I like what they have to say and their vision and, and see that they're hard workers, I'm willing to invest further in their career. So essentially That's, people that are out there doing it themselves, that are out there hustling. Yeah. Right. And right. if you're not out there, nobody knows. I think, you know, being out there on your laptop is one thing, but being out there in person and mingling and being out at a nightclub, that's a, that's, that's a whole different level. And I think that's where artists that are good with their social media, keep on working on your social media, but also um, have great social skills too. When you, you learn social skills, not by staying at home, you learn them going out, meeting people, getting a bite to eat, getting some drinks, hanging out with other producers, hanging out with other artists. 
Um, yeah. I encourage that. I think that's the, the the way a lot of artists should should move. Interesting. All right, good deal. I love it, man. Thanks for the last taking thing the time to chat. What we don't look for is people that are sitting at home waiting for them to succeed on a couch. It's DIY or die, man. DIY right? guys, don't stop working hard. <laughs> Oh yeah. Gonna make it. I love it, man. Thank you so much for talking. All right, Bobby. Cool.